Hey guys, it's Wednesday and it's Brooklyn's last day here. We spent the morning kind of goofing around, just like looking up stuff on our phones and showing it to each other and wrestling and stuff like that. <laughs> Tickle fights, all the usual stuff we do. And then I got the vlog up and then we've been cleaning. I'll, I can show you, it's, it's not perfect. It's not really done, but we want to leave soon. <laughs> There's still a lot of stuff I want to put away here in my art room, but it's coming along coming along and out here was a disaster it's looking a lot better so yay we've been jamming out to music and i did a bunch of dishes and then we cleaned up down here and there were so many dishes down here that the sink's like full of dishes again so i'm gonna have to do that later too <laughs> but okay i didn't need to turn that off as i'm walking in but yeah we want to head out soon because we just want to wander around downtown maybe just you know do a bit of shopping i mean i'm gonna try to not buy anything because i bought a lot of stuff yesterday and because whatever we buy we have to carry because we're just gonna take public transit but you know wander around downtown maybe get some supper and then go to bard on the beach which is this festival it's a shakespeare festival that runs from june to september and i just found out about it the other day when i was googling stuff to do in vancouver and so we're gonna go see much ado about nothing tonight at 7 30. And I'm excited, like, I don't know, I just really like live theater stuff, so I'm excited to go to that. I know nothing about Much Ado About Nothing. <laughs> I know nothing about nothing. Diggle it up. Good thing I brought this here umbrella, because it's raining. It's raining. It said 20% chance on the forecast. I looked at the sky, I was like, mm, that's, that's a lot of clouds. This is Vancouver, it's gonna rain. We found this place. Video this place. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got some hot sake. Oh yeah. Let's give it a taste test. so it's cheap. I kind of just want a picture of everything but at the same time it's like I might as well start eating because some of it came out already. Some takoyaki, chicken karage. Yeah, looking good. This is gonna be a lot of food, oh my god. The portions are big. Like we ordered some stuff off of the happy hour menu because it was cheap and it's like well this is gonna be a lot. That was really good, those octopus balls. That was delicious. Some gyoza has arrived. The vegetable tempura. I ordered this, they're like, you know it's just like a big plate of tempura. I was like, yep, I know. <laughs> well, I've never been here before, but <laughs> I order a lot of this at the place by our house. <laughs> the sausage has arrived. Now we're on a bus. Look at this glam outfit. Woo. Got off the bus, now we're walking. Walking, walking, walking. I've actually never been to the Get Speech before, so this is new for me. I've been kind of, sort of, in the Gipsilano area, but not really. Walking through a weird little alley, because this is what Google Maps says to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I just missed that on camera. Brooklyn's like, where have you taken us, Philippe? <laughs> the road forks here, but this is like a dead-end parking lot, so I assume we go down this way. Is that a bear? No, there's a person. I saw them earlier, they were standing up. Okay. Maybe he's tying his shoes. Grab that brick, we need it for defense. I can't run in these things. Neither. We have video evidence. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> My shoes are getting dirty. I'm trying to look nice for Shakespeare. Ah, ah, ah. Everyone's ripping past us. Ah, we're on foot like a couple of peds. I was just saying to Brooklyn, let's not come back this way. Because it'll be dark. We'll go on some main roads. Ignore Google Maps. We made it, we made it. But we're early, so we can just wander around a bit. Righto. Shall we go for a little stroll? I mean, we've been on a stroll just to get here, but... Do you want to take a water bike tour? Nope. Well, actually, it looks kind of sweet, but... Nope. Disneyland Canada confirmed. There's Space Mountain right there. <laughs> Very beautiful. 
especially with my little giggling sounds to narrate. Yeah. <laughs> so we're heading to the bard thingy. The show starts in like an hour and 15 minutes. So we're just gonna wander over, loiter, maybe have some snacks, I don't know. We just ate, but we could eat some more. Mm. No. We got a bog of melon. Oh, don't. Oh, this is the one we're seeing. We're gonna see some wedding dresses. Looks kind of like more modern. Yeah. Yeah. Winter's Tale. Oh my. That would have felt a little more Shakespearean, I feel like. Just because, like, for the costumes and stuff, but. Yeah. I'm excited. It should be fun. Live stuff's yeah. always fun. <laughs> Alright, let's venture inside. Da -da 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 -da. Let's get a little overview of the area. Hurry, before the movie. Yeah, let's go. Quick, there's, wait, go to the far one. Everyone's at that one. Please smile for a thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know if that really It says, yeah, what we're watching is like the director's adaptation to like a, a modern one. Okay. But he kind of like, modern. It's like, especially when or writing an adaptation is a delicate matter, especially when the original script is so perfect. <laughs> I think much ado about nothing is Shakespeare's greatest comedy. So I've been careful to only change the things that necessary for my concept to work. I don't want to read too much about the story here. There's like a, a long thing about it. I want to be a surprise. Look, it's Jazza. <laughs> but yeah, we're just chilling. We got our drinks. We're sitting in this little picnic table area. There's where we are in relation to the entrance, which was right across. The food place was tucked in here. Main stage is back here, which is where we're going to be tonight. Because there's two plays every night. One of them's across on one of the other stages, and then one's in the main stage. And we're in the main stage. Bard BQ and fireworks. We missed that. Oh, salmon barbecue. Ew. And delicious desserts. Yeah, it seems like they have a lot of other stuff here. Theme nights. Oh yeah, Wine Wednesdays. Today is Wednesday, but for some reason it's not Wine Wednesday. <laughs> it says August 9th and 23rd. Not today. Not today. <laughs> We're gonna make it Wine Wednesday. <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> well, I think I'm trying that white one. Oh yeah. It's like a Pinot Gris or something. I don't remember. I didn't read it. I saw the word white and I stopped reading. <laughs> Vancouver food tour. Last town food tour. Food tour. Craft and beer invites tour. Boom. Costuming for stage and screen diploma. That actually be really cool. Like, cause I would want to do eclectic clothes. Although, like, I guess how many plays have fancy outfits? Probably a lot. I want old timey aristocratic clothing. I tried finding a book of chapters about like old timey royalty, like what people who were royalty wore back in the day throughout different periods in history but there's nothing maybe i can find something online about it if you know of one let me know because i have a book of uh, what people wore when but i would like something more specific about like royalty you know hey, you want to get just a quick video of the place before the play starts because we obviously can't film it so see you guys after okay so we just got done with the play and that was long like how long would you say that is well what time is it i don't know my phone's still off <laughs> but the kids started at 7.30, the intermission was at like 9.07 or something. Yeah. And that was 20 minutes, and then it's been another long chunk. It's pretty long, but like it was good, because it was hard to understand at first, because it's Shakespeare, but quickly got used to it, you just had to pay attention. And uh, it was funny, it was good, I don't know, I liked it. It was a fun time. So we turned on our phones and checked the time earlier, and the show was three hours, including that 20 minute intermission, so. That was quite long. But yeah, I got home. There was a package waiting for me. My sketchbook came. This turd. Part of me wanted it to come before September. Part of me didn't want it to come before September so I could delay that sketchbook slam challenge because I'm torn about it. Part of me wants to do it now, September. Part of me wants to do it in November or like mid-October to mid-November or something. Because the goal is to fill this entire thing in 30 days, both sides of each page. And I'm like, well, is that wise for me to try right now? Because I'm getting married in a month. Well, a month and a week, but like we're going to be going, like leaving roughly a week before the wedding. So I have exactly a month till I leave. And so there's my month to fill the sketchbook. Because it averages out to 20 pages a day. But can I handle it? 
Can I handle it before the wedding? I still have stuff to do for the wedding, so. I don't know. But the, the plus side is it would, I could get a lot of videos out of it, out of working on that. But I also don't want all my videos to be the same. I would still need to work on other types of videos in addition to sketching in this one. Although I could have some videos where it's like purely pencil sketching, some maybe where it's inking, some where I do fully color something. I don't know, like I could give it variety. Like it'd be kind of like a Kobe expedient, but it's in the sketchbook. It's just that that takes a lot of time. Not every page is gonna be colored. There's probably gonna be very few colored pages because, well, one, I don't color in my sketchbooks, but two, I'm not gonna have time for that. I don't know, like I'm tempted to do it this month, but am I gonna die? When is Doodle Domain gonna be launched? I wanted it launched August. It's now the end of August. Oh my God, I don't know. Maybe I should wait till after the wedding for Doodle Domain. <laughs> like, if I have time, I can start on videos, but like wait to post them, you know? Sorry, this just feels good. I have this lump on my head and it's exactly where her headband sits. I need to get this sucker removed. <laughs> but not now, because I don't have a bald spot for the wedding. <laughs> this headband doesn't dig in behind the ears though. It feels nice. It feels <laughs> My new shoes are actually pretty nice too. The only issue I had was that the seam of my socks was digging into my cuticle towards the end. Other than that, they were really comfy. So I was just writing in my planner and I decided I am gonna go ahead with the sketchbook thing this month because I'm just too excited about it and I think it will actually work out okay. So I'm doing it. I'm moving forward with it. I've written it in and I think every, well this is subject to change, but the way I have it written out now is that every Friday will be a sketching video, but I'll try to make things a bit different. Like, I don't want to spoil the one idea, but it's going to be kind of something different than I've ever done before, but it's still contributing towards the sketchbook. And then I have a couple other little videos that are easier to film that are going up in between those videos. So there's still a schedule one every Friday, except on Friday, September 1st, because that's gonna be a different video. And yeah, but if there's some other idea that I wanna really do, one of those sketchbook videos might be replaced or it might be added in addition to those ones. We'll see how it goes, but that's, that's my plan. And I'm excited, but I'm gonna go to bed soon. So thanks for watching, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm tired. This is a stapler too. Maybe a little sharpener. Look how tiny it is. Baby. Ah, oh, with a little reservoir. I kind of want that because it's so compact. One and a half. Dollar fifty. What's this? A little push pins. There's like a little shredder. 